turn my music down. So I'm filming on my vlogging camera. It might be a little bit different than usual. The sound is probably different because I don't have an external mic on this one. But I'm gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna film in like a normal video and go sit down and film it in my office. Um, but I thought I would do a little get ready with me because you guys are always asking for like makeup tutorials and stuff And the lighting isn't the best here uh, But hopefully, you know you get the idea and I will do my best to list whatever products I use down below And of course let me know if you want to see any more makeup related videos. I know I don't do very many um, But it's because it's not exactly my forte. I mean I can paint my own face, you know what I'm saying, but I'm not the best at it, so <laughs> I don't usually go online to talk about it. But if you enjoy it and you want to see more, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or tell me down in the comments. Um, oh, and don't forget to follow my vlog channel if you haven't. When I'm absent from here, uh, it's very likely I'm on the vlog channel. So it's Sarah Ray Vlogist, and I'll leave a link down below. But let's go ahead and paint our face. Jakey, 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 Jakey. Jakey, Jakey. I changed my mind. We're gonna do a talk through because I always hate the background music that I have to use when I don't do a talk through. So um, we're just gonna talk. So I started out using the Benefit Pore Professional, which is my jam. I've been using it forever. And then um, I use a Mac Studio Fix Concealer just to hit some of the redder spots on my face. Not my cheeks generally, but I'm still breaking out quite a bit from the Clarisonic. I tried a different uh, head, I tried a new one, I tried a soft one, I tried a sensitive one, I tried the poor one. It's all ruining my face, so for now I'm just gonna like chill out on that and just, you know, live my life. Um, I usually use a beauty blender to blend it in, but sometimes I really don't care. I'm not doing anything too important today. I do have a wet beauty blender here, and I typically start with something on my lips. Um, this is the Vestam Lip Mask. This is like my older one. She changed the packaging for the new one. I prefer the old packaging because it's glass. There's just something about glass that makes me feel like good. I just hate plastic. I really, really hate plastic. I don't know why. All right, after I do that, sometimes I do my foundation, sometimes I don't, depending on like how much effort I plan on putting into my eyebrows that day. But I'm using the um, Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to go. I just use the wax portion of it and I just stick it on my finger and then rub it on my eyebrow. Every day my eyebrows are a little bit different, so let's see how they are today. Ah, sorry, I'm shaking the crap out of the camera. All right, let's see. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Chocolate. Chocolatina! They used to be my friend's like aim name. <laughs> She's always gonna be Chocolatina to me. So then I kind of just sit, or I sit, I start towards the middle and then I kind of build the arch first. My um, waxer went a little crazy taking away the hairs over here. And I don't worry about being super duper duper like perfect when I'm first starting, you know, the eyebrow. It's, I kind of have to wait and see what they're going to look like that day. And, you know, are they going to be a little bit thinner and longer? Are they going to have a bigger arch? Who knows? Who knows what kind of attitude they want to have? I don't find out until I do the other brow. And then um, I'm usually a little bit sloppy and then I just kind of clean it up with concealer because if I try to be too precise and it ends up taking me forever... And I cannot handle it. Like, I can't handle spending 10 years on my brow. See? That was really sloppy, but I can very easily kind of shape it with just my finger. Um, this, And that's before I go in with the concealer. And then we hit the other brow. The other brow's a little bit different, you know? They're not, uh, they're not twins. This one always has a slightly different shape. This eye is actually um, slightly smaller. Never mind. This one's slightly bigger. And uh, that whole, this whole half of my face is actually a little bit further up than the other half of my face is not symmetrical. You know, when I was in college, we were in this like uh, sociology class or psychology class, I can't remember. And we talked about how traditionally people with the most symmetrical faces are thought to be like the most beautiful. Um, and you would actually look so incredibly different, many of us at least, those of us that don't have symmetrical faces, um, we would look so incredibly different if you replicated one half of the face twice. So if you took just this half of my face and you made this two times instead of this half and this half being together, then I would actually look um, not exactly the same. Like you might think, oh, you'd be the same, but I'm not because this whole half of my face is like 
slightly flatter and lower and this half is just slightly further up including my lips my cheek my jaw everything so um, it's just really interesting study because then they showed like celebrities I don't know what it's called but you could probably google it and like find something about symmetry and face shapes um, but it was just so interesting because they showed celebrities like with you know a duplicated left side duplicated right side and then some of them that were completely symmetrical and I was like wow that's like so interesting to me <laughs> like you would think you'd be able to see this major this major difference in someone's face like obviously I can see it because I look at myself all the time but um I don't know I just I thought it was a really interesting thing so like do you guys have symmetrical faces I mean do you know if you have a symmetrical face have you ever really thought about it you should look at those pictures though they're so funny I know Tom Cruise was one of them him and his weird tooth his front tooth one of his front teeth is directly in the center of his mouth like directly in the center his front tooth is right there so somehow it works for him you know sometimes these so-called flaws and imperfections you know they really work out for the best so my flawed eyebrows be looking good sometimes so sometimes I go in with the Anastasia um, brow gel and then sometimes I just use the elf one which is a dollar <laughs> it bounced off the beauty blender and it jumped like 10 feet high this one's kind of old well not old old it's like a couple weeks old um, that's why it's all brown because it has some of the brow uh, color in it my hair is getting in the way I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair I washed it last night and then I slept on it so it's a little it's a little banana pancakes right now but um for now we're just gonna leave the brows this is uh, good enough for me for today sometimes I want it to be so perfect I don't know why I'm like trying to impress people trying to get their brow compliments uh, but now we're gonna go on foundation so I have a few different ones that I use here. I use the Carver Girl True Blend in a few different shades. Or I use the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow or the um, Pro Matte. I also have the uh, Kat Von D one in here. And I want to try that again. But it really was leaving me. I'm going to go with the True Blend today in uh, color number three. It was leaving me with like so many creases and so much funkiness in my face. Like I hated it. But then I bought the Laura Mercier powder. And I realized like that that really, really, really helped. Um, it really helped with creases and stuff with the concealer, with the Kat Von D concealer. So I'm like, well, maybe it would help with the foundation, but I'm just not willing to, today would have been a good day to try it. I'm not willing to risk like a whole fugly day, you know what I mean? Like a whole day of jacked up foundation just to try that. But today would have been a really good day to do it because I have no plans and I don't have my kids this weekend and I'm, I'm really not planning to go anywhere except maybe my parents' house and I'm going to hang out with my brother Jason. Um, we've really been talking about like vlogs and um, like being more legit with them basically like doing better being better um, more different equipment and stuff like that so I'm really putting more focus and energy and effort into the vlog channel and I hope that I keep it up because it is something that I enjoy um, oh my gosh I scratched my ear so bad I normally don't do my eyelids, but I had some on there. <laughs> I had some foundation on there, so I hit them because it does tend to crease. And as of like a year ago, I stopped using um, primer on my eyes just because I got lazy. And I realized it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So I'm pretty basic these days with my um, eyeshadow, and I pretty much use like this brush. This is this Too Faced brush. It's like five bucks, or this Tarte brush. It's like five dollars. And it's just great. It's double sided. And then I'm using the uh, Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. I'm really in love with the color Vermeer and um, Bone Fresco. Bone Fresco. The two that have the pan hit there. Um, big fan of those. And then this palette also comes with a little double ended brush. And I used to never use these. And then I was like in a pinch because I went out of town and I didn't really take anything. And I was like, oh, these ain't half bad. So we're going to um, start with the color. Tempera, tempera, um, and just all over my lid. And I'm usually not super uh, like precise when it comes to my eyeshadow. And I know I don't blend it enough for some people. They want to like have a heart attack on the internet about it. But it's my face. It's my life. So I do what I want. And you should do the same. I still had glue from yesterday. <laughs> um, so after that, I'm gonna go in with that color Vermeer, which is like a champagne kind of color, just sort of on the outside of the lid and in the crease just a little bit. It's a really pretty, like, shimmery color. Nice. 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 Um, and then we're gonna go in with that color Buon Fresco or whatever it's called. Um, 
Now this is kind of a big like fluffy brush for the crease or whatever, but I don't mind. I just kind of try to concentrate on that outer corner and not get too crazy with it. Um, and then once some of the product is kind of worn off, then I'll go up a little bit. I don't want it to be like too strong, but if it is, thug life, I mean, I do what I do. And this side's always different. Like I'm telling you, my brow shape is different. My brow bone is in a different place. Like my eyelid is just not the same. So it's, um, and plus I think because I'm doing it with my right hand on both, like the angle is just different, you know, cause over here it's like from the side and over here it's like from the bottom. It's just, just, it's the little things in life that you notice when you spend 10 years doing your freaking makeup every freaking day. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit underneath my brow bone, but I'm gonna hit that a little bit later. Sometimes I just like to be fancy though. And then just a shtickle bit right in the inner eye. My brother's texting me. So this is kind of just the first layer. Um, I'll clean it up and I'll, you know, be better in a little bit after I put everything else on. But for now, this is a good foundation for the eyes. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put on, you know what I am, I'm gonna put on a little bit of liquid eye and I'm so mad because I lost my Clinique liquid eyeliner and it was my absolute favorite. I went to Sephora the other day, it didn't have it and I'm like not the type of person to order stuff. Obviously if I had ordered it, it would have been here a week ago, but that's not me. I need instant gratification, baby. I'm an American. I need instant gratification. So I've been testing out these other liners. This is the ink liner. Kat Von D, this is I think like a little sample one or it came with like a palette or something. So we're gonna go in with this one. Just a little baby cat eye, nothing too serious. It sucks so bad, like I cannot get the line straight. Let's try a different one on top of it. It's just not letting me be great. Okay, this is the felt tip liner by NYX. Okay, not my best, not my worst, but I, I really miss my Clinique liner. Like, it's amazing. If you haven't tried it, you should give it a shot, seriously. The fallout on this palette is just ridiculous, you guys. It's insane. So I'm just gonna kind of go in a little bit more on this um, crease, this corner area here, but this time with the color Love Letter, which is just a little bit, I'll show it to you. It's a little bit more of a, um, like a cranberry, but kind of like a, a purpley cranberry, if that makes sense. I'm sure there's another way to say it, but the word cranberry comes to mind. So pretty, so I used this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. And we're done with that for a second. So I was gonna put on some lashes, but all I have are these ones from the other day, and I've used them a couple times, so let's see if we can clean them up a little bit. I don't know how you guys feel about like reusing lashes. Do you reuse them? Like, I usually reuse them a couple of times, especially if I'm filming and I just rip them off afterwards. I love individual lashes, but I don't always have the time or the patience for it. But if I'm trying to look real cute for like a whole day, and I don't want um, my eyes to bother me at all, then I definitely use individuals because they feel just a thousand times better. I mean, give them a shot if you haven't before and you're a lash wearer, um, but if you're not a lash wearer, then you know, live your life. You probably have beautiful lashes. I don't think I was born with lashes. I think they're just gone. My mom was just like, no lashes for you. I was like, okay, mom, that's rude, but okay. Okay, whatever. All right, so we have some lashes here. Like I said, I've worn these a couple of times, so they're not the freshest, but they'll do. I don't have any more right now. I'm so mad at myself that I actually ran out of lashes. That never happens. So these are the lashes. Um, I just cover them in glue. I have the Ardell glue, and then I'm just using like a little baby tweezer. And these are the Ardell Demi, Demi Wispies. I don't remember, I threw the package away, sorry. These are my jam though, I think they're the 120s. So uh, it's got a lot of glue on it, but it's all good. We're gonna make sure we look kinda cute. Not too cute, like we ain't trying to press nobody. It's just, it's a boring day. I don't wanna go to the bookstore. Like what do you guys like to do when it's just you and you have free time? You know, let's say you got a couple couple hundred bucks, okay? You got some, some money to burn. You have time, but you don't have anyone to hang out with. What do you do? Free time, some money to spend that you know is not gonna hurt the bank account, and 
just a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day outside. What do you do with that day? All right, now let's start with the concealer and the contouring because that's where the show really gets exciting. So I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear. Um, I'll get back to my lashes once they dry. I'll curl them and I'll do the whole nine. But for now, let's just put a little concealer on or a lot of concealer because I took a nap yesterday at like from like four to six. And then I couldn't go to sleep until 5 a.m. And I was so mad. And then I woke up early, you know, like I can't be asleep all freaking day. And then I have the uh, Clinique Chubby Stick. I just repurchased this. So I clearly loved it because it's amazing. And it's just so fast and easy, you know. Like if you're going to be fast and you're going to be easy, <laughs> you're the one for me. I love when a guy walks in on me when I look like this. Typically like. Who saw me like this? I want to say the kid's dad saw me. I think he came over one time in the morning and I was getting ready. And he was like picking up the kids or something. And he was like, why do you look like a freaking warrior over here? And I'm like, cut. I am. And my brother saw me the other day and he was like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm just trying to be beautiful, okay? Just, just leave me alone. Like, that's all I'm trying to do. I just want to be pretty. I just want to be a pretty girl. So anyway, then I do my best to blend this and half the time I don't do a very good job. And that's okay. You guys still think I'm pretty, right? That's all that matters. Um, that was a Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I threw a little bit of it on my face. And I have like too much glue over here, so it's not drying fast enough, but um, it's all good. We're gonna curl the lashes now that they're a little bit more dry. I hate curling my lashes. I feel like it's punishment. It's just a punishment. You've been a bad girl. Put your eyelid in this contraption. I've been bad. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on, not too much. Uh, I never do very much just because I'm so rosy to begin with. I only do it when uh, I want it to be a little bit more on the golden side versus pink, but that was the um, that was the Max. It was the Simpsons collection. I think it's called Pink Sprinkles. I'm not gonna go over my contour or anything. I don't want anything to be too crazy today. Um, we're just going to highlight. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit. I have the Gleam one. And obviously I'm a huge fan of Crush Pearl. And a lot of times I mix it with Mimosa. Um, I don't even touch hard candy. Maybe I should one day. You know, let's switch it up. Let me use Starburst today. Starburst is this like pinky color down here. And I just hit the bridge of my, or the tip of my nose. So cute. And then I do, you know, up here. This area, whatever that's called, cheekbone or something, I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm good at makeup. I just kind of amble my way through it and hope for the best. Put a little bit on my lid there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of blend it all into each other so I'm not too shiny or anything. And take off that brightening powder a little. So oh, upon further inspection, it looks like I have some irritation underneath my eye right now. So I probably won't wear makeup for too day too long today, but huh, that's weird. I've been just noticing a lot of differences in my skin lately. I really think it's because of Clarisonic. And so I'm just going to kind of like keep my distance for a little bit and see if everything clears back up. Actually, before the mascara, I usually go in with the setting spray. Um, I don't like doing it after the mascara because it like wets it again. Um, so this is the... Uh, jasmine scented slay all day spray and Gerard Cosmetics just sent me a bunch of the minis and they're so cute um, but they have like 40% off of them I think it's the code mini me so you can get 40% off of your like um, sprays which I love I especially love this jasmine scent I'm obsessed with it um, and the other women in my family really enjoy the other scents so I have just shared them all um, this is actually the only one I have left now but love it Okay, and then we're going to go in and do a little bit of mascara. So I have my L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Carbon Black and then the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And I'm still considering doing a little bit of liner on the bottom. But I'm not really trying to impress anybody today. But if I want it to be a little bit more bold, I would do a black liner with a black smudgy um, shadow on top of it. And then a little bit of this crease color right on top of it also. It really gives it like a dramatic effect. But it's the middle of the day right now and I'm just going to my parents' house. So I don't want to like be too extra. Although they're used to it. Sometimes I walk in or they come over to my house and I have like the full face going on. And I'm wearing sweats and they're like, oh, you were working today? I was like, yeah, I was working. From the waist up, I was working. <laughs> 
I don't have pants on right now. <laughs> Never have pants on. This is actually a crop tank top. Like I hardly have clothes on at the moment and I love it. This is my favorite part of doing this. You know, it's amazing. Just making, make your living not wearing pants, but also no one is groping you, which is lovely. Not that I haven't been groped by a fan. Gross. So typically when I don't have any um, bottom liner or anything, I just completely avoid putting mascara down there because it tends to just run. I have super watery eyes, very sensitive eyes. I think it has to do with the fact that they are so light in color. I can hardly even go outside without, um, without sunglasses on, even at night sometimes. Um, it really sucks, <laughs> but I can't complain. You know, my eyes are cool or whatever. I like them. We're gonna throw on a little lip pencil here. Uh, this is Max Whirl. And then if I were going out or if I was filming or something, I would do a liquid lip. But since I'm just gonna be hanging around, I'm just gonna do a lipstick because it's easier for me to just reapply or not reapply. So this is Max Angel. Let me see how I feel about it. I don't love it. I don't love how it looks with the purpley kind of eye. Maybe if we put a little bit of heroin on top. Oh, okay, I don't hate it as much now. So this is the finished product. I just uh, hit my hair with the flat iron for a couple minutes there. And um, that's about it. I didn't really put anything into it and I like to usually just keep my hair down. If you guys haven't been able to tell, like this is the part of my whole entire lifetime right here. Like maybe one day I'll switch it up, but that's the day you know that you need to like have me committed because I have lost my mind. <laughs> but um, I'll probably just throw on a hoodie and some yoga pants. But this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little, which well, probably wasn't even that quick, huh? Now that I was talking through it, it was probably like 22 minutes long. That's my guess, 22 minutes. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see any, any other like makeup tutorials or anything or again if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down below um but I can always do like a no makeup makeup look because it is a whole different brow routine and uh, my skin is a little bit different when I do that as well but just let me know what you want to see or if you enjoyed this video and if you didn't that's cool too you're entitled to your opinion I was like showing my toilet a little bit in the background I feel like that really classes the joint up you know what I'm saying you see that right there porcelain throne all right, I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.